My name is uh, Dave Truba. I work for the Water Supply and Sanitation Collaborative Council, which is a uh, Geneva-based international network of uh, organizations and partners uh, working on water supply, sanitation, and hygiene issues in developing countries in some of the poorest parts of the world. We actually focus more on, on sanitation and hygiene than we do on water supply, primarily because uh, there are lots of organizations engaged in, in trying to improve the water supply situation and fewer of them involved in sanitation, so we're a bit more focused on sanitation. In Stockholm, we're working with the media in a few different ways. Uh, probably the first and foremost way is that um, we, we operate together with CWE, the host of the Water Week, uh, an international competition called the WASH Media Awards. This is a competition uh, directed mainly for journalists in developing countries uh, to encourage them and to help them in, in uh, writing more articles, doing more blogging, uh, doing more radio broadcasts, television productions, television productions on the issue of, of sanitation and hygiene and water supply in the country. I mean, you know, you're in the sector, Nick, so you know that there are big issues. I mean, yeah. 5,000 kids are dying every day from diarrhea, and it doesn't have to be like that. So in their own countries, journalists who are aware of these issues and, and then have an increased capability to kind of report on them, either because they know more about them or they're getting more credibility in their own community because they've, they've won an international award, we see this as a good thing because, I mean, for countries that don't have good sanitation, good hygiene, water supply, toilets, taps, we feel it's important that there's a, a national movement that raises awareness of these issues and then eventually gets you know politicians to take them more seriously and, and get things done. So what, what what's the profile of the people you have here from media? Because you say media, yep. and in our experience we've worked with journalists as well, but we've also found that um, so engaging with journalists is not enough in terms of media. Do you also engage with uh, editors or uh, media organizations yeah. in the different countries and yeah, that's a that's a very good question. We do and we're doing it in, increasingly so. Um, for example, right now we're we're working with the uh, the Pulitzer Center on Crisis Reporting. Uh, okay, that's a, a North American based organization, but it's it's active in, in supporting and facilitating yeah. um, good reporting and good coverage in in, in developing countries uh, on a global basis. We also work with journalists and also producers and, and managing editors to raise sort of global awareness of, of these types of issues. But our work um, related to the WASH Media Awards and, and in places like West Africa, East Africa, South Asia, it involves working with journalists but also in helping journalists themselves to build up networks, yeah. WASH Media networks um, that uh, don't just have, uh, say, writers or radio reporters, but also, you know, their bosses, the people who, who are making some of the, the, the editorial decisions in their own media organization. So that includes managing editors and that includes uh, producers. So, for example, in Ethiopia, there's a very strong WASH media network. In Nepal, there's a very strong WASH media network. In uh, Madagascar and some other places, there are very strong WASH media networks. So okay. it's, it's all interrelated. Great. Well, we'll look forward to the WASH uh, Media Awards yep. and uh, seeing what the Thursday. Thursday. Big Let's see what the Thursday. results are. Yeah. Thank you very much. You